Why is J-Wix trying to make me uncomfortable? You should just thank him for Thanks, you know, man. Him, him greeting him. No, never mind. Yo, get off the stage. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, so now we got Mago and Zion. Yeah, Mago actually a Bowser that he does quite a number of waves here. And so kind of seen his name quite a bit, you know, in the top eight, top 16. Uh, you know, definitely not someone to go ahead and sleep on. Ooh, beautiful forward to go ahead and knock Zion right back out. Trying to go for the flame breath and the Bowser Bomb. Ooh. So these are actually two um, well-known players from SoCal. We, we see that we've probably seen this matchup from time to time at an MSM or a LAN hero. All right, another upbeat coming up from Mago, just punishing the landing right there, coming up from Zion. Another forward tilt? No, it's not going to do it. And just air dodging past the Bowser bomb attempt from Mago one more time. Here we go, up throw, up air. Can be a stop. That's it. And only 49% on Mago. He's looking really good. Uh, you know, there's there's been words out there from a lot of like top Bowsers saying that Mago is so close to being the perfect Bowser. Mm. He's definitely in contention for being. I mean, what's he lacking right now? Uh, probably just more experience. That's okay. what I would call it because he definitely has uh, his gameplay on lock with the with the character. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely looking like he is in tune with Bowser. Really close to actually lapping Zion. Ooh, Zion that's with it. an answer right away, hitting him with those pearly whites out of that dragon jump. I like it. Really, um, really good air dodge read there too. Ooh, down air actually setting him right back up, getting away from the neutral air attack that Zion did toss out. Grab, yes, single jab, still holding that shield into the back air immediately. All right, Zion jumping away, retreating to yeah. that smashful platform. That is definitely your best friend when you were stuck in the corner, but you know, Ooh, no amount of running a, away yeah. can get you away from the grips of Bowser. Now that looked like there was not too much that he could have done to avoid that. No, he, he just got caught. Yeah. He held that chill button a little bit too long. Going to get scooped up. And that's going to be a stock for Mago and taking away that game. Right, so Mago moving up one game to Zionzo. Alright, here we go. Running it straight back to Smashville. Very understandable. Zion I mean, wasn't doing too bad. Of course, they got caught. By a couple of situations where he just kind of goes and get grabbed. I would love to say just clean up a little bit. Play a little, you know, play a little safer. Like, I see you how to convert with a lot of these ways. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That was actually scary because when Bowser is getting hit by multiple hit moves, he can actually just hold down and walk straight through them. Yeah. Yeah, Bowser's uh, tough guy ability allowing him to just uh, armor through moves completely at lower percents. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, the counter gonna take away that stock so early, and we got the taunt on deck. Let's go, Zion. Unbelievable. All right, and Mago coming down from the platform with the taunt in hand. Let's, saying, see, if let's see if Mago can go ahead and tell him, like, yo, you, you can have that stock. All right, I mean, this is getting a, like a jab or two more. He's looking for it. Jab to grab might actually be the stock for, for Mago. Great grab. No, nope. just trying to look for some type of air dodge. Yeah. Mago understanding his percentage. He needs just a tiny bit more. And look at this. He's already fishing for the next grab. No, he's a good forward here. coming out from Zion. At that percent, dude. That, that's uh -oh. oh, and he is going to get pineapple no. one more top for good measure. And we got an even set. Wow. <laughs> All sorts of things happening, man. That was whack. Yeah, that was crazy. Because he got hit by, like, the backwards hit like the hitbox that somehow is behind Corrin on that charge forward smash. Not good Looked like uh, Zion was waiting, like expecting like a roll onto the stage, which like at that at that percent, if if Mago had rolled onto the stage, it would have killed straight up from, from across the stage. Yeah, now we have Mago's counter pick going to Lilat. Interesting pick for a Bowser just because of the fact that against the Corrin, character with a disjoint. He can go ahead and toss out his neutral wave, these up airs, really trap Bowser from going ahead and just landing back into the stage. Additionally, his recovery can get hindered from the tilt of Lila. Yeah, I feel like there is something there though for uh, his ability to pivot grab um, on these little turbines. I think it might just kind of extend his grab range a little bit or make it oh, safer. Yeah, okay. or make it safer. Okay, another left, another forward tilt coming up. Could have been a grab on that regular getup, but unfortunately, not going to catch him. And wow, Mago actually trying to space out with areas of his own, but the fact that Corrin has a disjoint 
He's just getting beat out outright. What? <laughs> he got pinned for a little bit too, but yeah. hey, damage is damage. Alright, able to land back onto the ground and get a hit of his own. Mago still trailing a little bit in percent. However, he is a big boy, so he's going to live a little bit longer. Yeah, Bowser being basically one of the heaviest characters <laughs> won't shine anytime soon unless he gets a really big hit. Yeah, honestly, uh, actually, Trump, ooh, like, not going to get a backer either. A, ti a tip or pin or a forward smash is at these percents will definitely kill. Uh, maybe an up air. I think the biggest change I see from Zion so far here in Game 3. Oh, there it is. Uh, the same read. situation from the first time. This time actually working out in his favor. Not like well, I mean, it worked out in his favor last time, but it just caused Mago to SD. Yeah. No, but like I was saying, really what I'm seeing from Zion is that when Mago is approaching, he's running up and shooting. Zion is recognizing that and immediately going for a grab himself. Yeah. I like that forward tilt because now he's got the grab online. We saw him get Ooh, his setup at around this percent on the first game. Ooh. Wow, the down smash catching him on the regular getup. Yeah. All right, jab, jab, quick 12 percent. Zion's just immediately retreating, understanding that he did not connect with that instant and already unloading with a couple of aerials himself. There goes the chomp one more time. Good damage, but not even close to the stock. Forward smash again, catch on the roll. Now Mago actually kind of reeling on his stock, leading at 108%. Again, one good hit from Zion. We'll take it away. Move on through this bracket. Oh, try to run up with the grab, but a single jab into Mago's grab instead. 60% online now. Yeah. Zion trying to play uh, as safe as possible, but also opting for these like aggressive, like. Space aerial into empty jump uh, dash grab. But again, another instant pin. Gonna hit Bowser, but still not enough. Oh, he yeah. tried to use the lilac tech against oh, him. Oh, oh but he pinned. No. no, Bowser, big body, gonna oh be able to hold on. God. But he now has full rage. Oh, oh my goodness, he should be able to recover though yes. using lilac to actually ride him. But again, a roll, getting caught up by the forward smash. Unbelievable, yeah. So Zion, this is actually definitely. An, uh, an upset, at least by seedings. Mago, another player oh, who... Oh, the, che um, oh, the cheering is done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was getting jiggy with it. Yeah, and they, they didn't even put you on camera, man. That's okay. Jam makes not paying attention. God. <laughs> <laughs> we're giving a great showing Sorry. right there. Coming up from Zion <laughs> and Mago. A very yeah, exciting both. set. Very, very good set. Yeah, no, I mean, it really just came down to a lot of those reads that Zion ended up getting right there at the end, able to connect those into pins, and especially that forward smash, paying so much for him, calling out those rolls. Yeah, but no, we are still here.